Seeing hundreds of eager athletes swam, biked, and ran for the fifth annual Alabama Coastal Triathlon. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brannon takes you to the event. More than 800 athletes thirsty for competition. On the beautiful beaches of Gulf Shores in Orange Beach. It all started with a mile long swim into the Gulf. For some, their first time. I actually didn't realize I was going to do it until this previous Monday and uh, started training from there. So now I'm here. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but we're about to find out. As Zach Gaines dove in, aquatics and fitness coordinator for the city of Gulf Shores and former Auburn swim team member Brooke Monroe Hopkins had just reached the shore. She says this year she was inspired by the recent triumph of Diana Nyad, who recently swam 112 miles from Cuba to Key West without a shark cage. Very proud of her for making it, especially at her age. It's gotten the city very inspired and involved. I think all around it brings us all together. The parents on my swim team do it. Um, the party afterwards, we all just hang out and it, it's a great time and we don't get to do that on a daily basis when we work and this is something that we can come and do together on a Saturday. After the swim, the wheels started to spin. The 26 mile trek along the coast allowed athletes to feel the cool beach breeze as they cruised along the white sandy beaches. After a quick drink of water, it was off to the last leg, the 10 kilometer run course along Beach Boulevard and ending right back where it all started, the hangout. Beth McGonagall from Orange Beach, Alabama. Beth Gindler is the vice president of the Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism and Sports Commission. She says this year's turnout was excellent and hopes to see many faces back again next year. A lot of locals, but also a lot of visitors. Everyone loves Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, right? So they only have great things to say, and it's a, it's a really well-run event, very organized, very safe, which is very important to all the people participating. And we've got people who come to it year in and year out, so we're excited. In Gulf Shores, Michael Brannon, Fox 10 News. If you're interested in competing in next year's race, we have a link posted for you.